It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC South. Great game in store for y'all, next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the venerable Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. former Illini kicker Chase McLaughlin to get us started. And we are underway from the Superdome. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Saints heading out for the first time, and there's Derek Carr at quarterback in his 11th NFL season now and second in black and gold. And Carr continues to produce good numbers on paper. He completed over 68% of his passes last season while also throwing 25 touchdowns to just eight interceptions. But as impressive as those numbers are, the numbers he's seeking, big numbers in the playoffs. And we expect him and his team to be back in the playoff mix when January rolls around. Carr gonna throw right away. There's Chris Olave. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. And the chains move again, and that's typical for Olave because he's been a consistent playmaker dating back to his days as a Buckeye. And that trend has only continued ever since he arrived in the NFL. Over 1,000 yards for the second straight season last year, and he's someone the Saints expect huge things from going forward. They'll get this out to Kamara. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Yaya Diaby, he's the one who got in there. He gets the sack. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Third down and 10. Carr. coming and they got him once again. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Well, the Bucs get ready to go on offense for the first time, and it's Baker Mayfield leading him out in his second season as a Buccaneer at his seventh overall. And he had a most impressive bounce-back season last year, nearly leading his team to the NFC Championship game. That's not something you see every day, and he was rewarded for it as Tampa Bay decided to make him definitely their quarterback for the future. Now for him, he wants to prove it's not a one-year thing, and in fact, he is the long-term answer for this franchise. 
The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at their own 43. Over the middle complete. It's Palmer. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Mayfield now. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to ski in the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Mayfield. That is caught. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They will run for the first time here with White. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 43, here's a second and nine. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Chase Young, now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, Maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Jake Camarda sent on now to punt this away. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score, second quarter, as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, 
and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. It's a first down following a gain of three. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. Taken down at the 42. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Got a man here, it's Wilson. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook tough to defend because you think it's a go route and then he breaks it back on the comeback there's one other thing you need as well a well thrown ball exactly right you have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route car gonna throw Alave holds it in and he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains but one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Working from the gun, it's Carr. It gets this complete to Shahid. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and a couple. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Here's Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. From the 10, first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Carr. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and goal from the one. Shotgun now for Carr. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Juwan Johnson, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Saints will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. A 
And a point after, good by Groupie. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Mayfield on play action. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Now second and five. Mayfield throwing the out route incomplete. That's Palmer. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Out route, and the ball is caught by Godwin. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Mayfield looks to throw. Here's White. They set up the screen. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to pull them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Mayfield to throw it. He completes it to Evans. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Here's second and 10. Now Mayfield. Looking for Godwin, and he's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 13 yards down to the 13. What a drive. This has been just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against?
And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. And again, it's Mayfield. He'll get that out to the flat to White. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. From the six now on second and three. To throw Mayfield. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bucks have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. So the late touchdown ties things as they will kick this one away in the final stages of the half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The final shot here before half for Carr. And incomplete on the deep ball. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bucks offense set to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 27. A run to begin the second half with White. Dancing away at the 35. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. 
They go right back to White here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be third down. A few moving pieces on that play because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot. And turn it into a nice game. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 44-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. So in Saints' territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing, Mayfield, Otten brings it in over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Mayfield now. He finds his target. It's Evans. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the 22 now, here's second and three. Here's Mayfield. Look at Mike Evans' way again, and he's got another one. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield, and he's got it! Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Trey Palmer, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bucs have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. McLaughlin for the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs.
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. And he's got it down to the 28. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Now Carr. And that one to the right side and incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Carr. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The slot man in motion right. Now Carr got to have this one. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring <laughs> it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start here with a handoff to White. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. 
fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. And now right out of the two minute break we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll try the right side here with White. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Mayfield to throw. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. So time for Carr and the Saints. Down 14-7. to seven, A minute 36 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing his car. It's complete. Camara. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Now second down in a few inches. Now Carr. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Trying to squeeze it in there at this stage of the game. You gotta take some chances. Nice job to knock it away, though. You're so right. Understanding where they are in the game, you gotta take that opportunity and maybe thread the needle. Unable to get it done there. A big play looming on third down. Here's Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. That's pulled in by Wilson. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. They'll come up first and 10 here. Car to throw. To the sideline and incomplete couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime and because of that really not many places to throw the football if any and typically what would you want to do against that dime run the football you want to run the ball but you can't do it in this situation not nearly enough time on the clock 
you having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Carr. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Car to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Well, it came down to the final play in such a close ball game. What a game it was, but they can't get that last throw off. Good job by that defense to get in there for the sack to seal it. And for fans watching the game, a little bit anticlimactic, don't you think, partner? Not even able to get off one last throw to see how it would have turned out. Instead, pass rush got to him and ended it that way. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.